kind of relaxing. Like it makes me want to do that little, that little wavy dance that Kermit does. Like that's that's what this music's making me feel like. It's kind of a vibe. But anyways, what's up, Ant City, and welcome back to some more SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last one, we started up the Kelp Forest and we made some pretty good progress. You know, we got pretty far, but we still got a bit left to go. I'd say we're maybe halfway through, maybe a little less than half, but. Yeah, we still got a bit more to go, so let's just get on with it. So yeah, Murder Man needed to help, or not Murder Man, Barnacle Boy needed us to help him find his crystals and stuff. So, because uh, he needs it for his super, his secret superhero power, he said. So let's just go ahead and continue on. Let's bounce up here. This was the last thing we did, and let's see what we got. So we can stand here. Oh, we have to shoot the missile from here. That was worth, or is it just time and we can run back? I think we gotta shoot the missile from here. I guess we can try that. I don't know if it'll last long enough to be a problem. Oh, it, it does. Okay. Just gotta aim it right. But yeah, we need to find three more crystals. This is pretty cool. I was wondering if they're gonna have us do something like this. Jeez, it, it's kinda hard to turn it. Alright, we got them. So. Throughout this tactical noob. Can, you, can someone just explain to me why Bubble Buddy knows how to make work? Bubble nukes, though. I'm telling you, Bubble Buddy's honest. Like he's on, he's a god or something. Like, bro, Bubble, Bubble Buddy's a little bit sus. That's all you gotta say. Sussy, but I don't know what that means. I'm, not, I'm never saying that again. All right, so let's hit that. We got it. Okay, let's go. All right, now we can continue onwards into the next area. So yeah, see, the cage would have closed had we stayed. So let's go this way. And we gotta be Patrick. So I think we gotta bring that one D key from earlier and bring it over here. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna attack the I just want him out of the way. There we go. So I don't have to deal with him later. Oh, we can. I guess we could also just use that. What do we need it for, though? Because we can stand here and nuke that thing from here. So we'll come back as Patrick after I use this. The launchers ago. SpongeBob to mission control. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Let's go be Patrick. I want to see what this is for. We got to walk all the way back is the only problem. And we don't have like a sprint button, so we got to walk pretty slowly. We'll make it back. Over. Chronic boy. Oh yeah. So let's switch to Patrick. Then we'll go grab that one Tiki, and then we'll... <laughs> we still got to do more stuff with Spongebob, so yeah. Alright, did you see this? I think those are called, yeah, the angler fish on the wall. With the lights. I wonder if that's a hint to what's gonna be in here. Yeah, look at this fish. Sorry, that's just like one of the NPCs, though. That fish. You gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Throw that up there. Yep. Pick them up. Yep. Throw them onto that. That'll... Oh, that brings that up. Okay, so we did need them. So let's go switch back to Spongebob now. I hope that... Near the end of the cave, there's also a bus stop. That'll help with having to run all the way back. Switch characters, but... Or maybe somewhere, like, in the middle. Anyways, let's switch back to SpongeBob. It's kind of cool how they're actually making you switch back and forth in this area, though. Like, you actually have to use both characters to progress completely. So I, I do like that. That's pretty cool. But, um... Yeah, for now, let's just head up here. And... I already did this one, right? Pretty sure I already did. Let me check. Yeah, we got that one. Okay. So now we can actually bounce up here because of what Patrick. And that gives us another crystal. We got more chrono crystals, boys. We only need three more chrono crystals. That of chrono crystals. Um, let's land here. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh no, chrono crystals are. It's from Dragon Ball Land. But let's go this way. Ah. Bounce on this. Bounce or not? I just got hit. I just got hit with thunderbolt and lightning. Or what is the Nitsu doing in here? Yeah. Don't. Why are you in a kelp? Oh, you're scared. Um. Let's see. Let's see that. Oh, we can go up here. What's up? Big bounce. I don't know what. Oh, there's a sock over there. You've just met the sponginator. Want this sock? Oh, it's a bus stop. Is this the beginning? 
Oh, this is the beginning, but there's a box here now. Okay, that's gonna help a lot. So yeah, let's switch to Patrick and then use the box. Okay, see, this was another good way to do it. Just have it loop back. I didn't even notice that up there earlier, honestly. Uh, have it just loop around like this. This is actually another good way to design this. I like it. What is this little bounce for? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe after we do the thing with Patrick, we'll learn. But, yeah, we needed to come in here as Patrick. So, I'm not complaining even a little bit. Stop them. Oh, there's another one here, too. We need to find a team. Why does it work? Tiki's it. I don't see any of them. I just miss one. You want a few? Oh, we might have to go back and grab one. Yeah, let's do. Let's go back a little bit and grab one of them. I guess we could just use this one that's right here and just carry it with. Them. Give me that. Cause yeah, we don't really need him anymore for that. Uh, for what I for the crystal because I already got it. Okay, let's go here. Run, oh jeez, I almost hit by that. Throw that there. Gotta lift those up. So now... Oh, there's two of those I can hit. Whoa! what? So if I pick this up, it does lower it. So we want to keep those lifted for now. So, gotta go here. Bounce up. Spongebob's underwear fits quite right. So, we can go up to the middle. Oh. Oh, we can get that crystal by launching yourself. Okay. The real question is, though, how do we get to doing that? Like, how do... How... Oh, I think we need to... Okay, I think I know what we need to do. I think we need to switch back to SpongeBob right now. So we can launch the missile. At those two spots. And then we somehow got to bring a watermelon in here with Patrick. Which I guess we could do. I just don't know if we'd be able to... Like, how would we get to the top? Like, I don't know if we could take it fast enough. So we're gonna be SpongeBob first for now. And then we gotta find a spot to... St uh, the little spot we need to stand on. Fire off the missile. I remember seeing it. We also need to bring the Tiki up here. Eventually. Oh yeah, this right here. So does that do both of them? One. No, it only does one of them. Okay. Let's at least hit that one for now. Is it at... Ooh! Where is it? I can only show you one. Alright, we're gonna have to figure it out. Oh, it's that one. Okay, I see it now. I get it. We need to just go to the left. Left, up, and around. Got it. So how do we get the other one then? I have no idea. I need to bring the Tiki up here then, maybe. Let's try it. Try to bring the Tiki up here. Patrick, and then see if that'll unlock the other one. Like, that might be what opens the other, like, cage, is what I'm thinking. So let's try that. And then if that works, we will shoot the missile, and then figure out how we launch ourselves to that crystal. Let's go up here. Let's go find that Tiki. Yeah, that Tiki, I can get up with it, but I can't really do anything with that right now until I get a watermelon. Once I do get a watermelon, because the thing is, I think there was a watermelon in like a previous area. I just don't think it would last long enough for me to bring through here. So yeah. But for now, let's take that off. Throw it up. Go up. And oh, maybe I need to walk around like this. Oh yeah, we can walk through that. Maybe there's a watermelon in there I can use. That would make a lot more sense. Oh, I meant to throw this one up. Oh, I almost destroyed it. I didn't mean to do that. Throw it up. Oh, it's on my head. Throw it up a floor. Not two. There you go. One floor. There you go. And... Throw it up here. Okay, maybe you can... There we go. I didn't want it to be on the button. It actually, that actually works out. If you just place down the button, that would help fun drop. Let's see, what is this? This brings this up. Oh, that this was all just for a shiny object. <laughs> is that really all this was? Oh, let's get up. Let's just grab it. Might as well. Oh, no. A, there's a crystal up here, too. How many of these do I have to carry? One more crystal and also one more camp. I thought this was all literally just for a shiny object. No, it's for a crystal, too. Top down. 
And then let's put this back. And then I guess we'll go try to get a watermelon. And then that'll be the last crystal. I didn't mean to go down here. No! I'm going to have to run all the way back around now. Oh. We'll do it. I guess we'll do then, yeah, see, there's a watermelon in this room right there. Oh, I guess it's not that far. I thought it was further. So I didn't think we'd be able to make it. But it's, like, right there. Okay. So we just need to bring that watermelon to the top of us. And luckily, we killed the enemy that was in here. So we don't need to worry about him. Let's go grab the watermelon and then start heading out. Also, I guess technically instead of running around, I could have just hit this button, but whatever. Also, I think I need to stand there with SpongeBob to hit the other thing. Now I'm thinking about it. Also, this is going to blow up for sure. Let's just throw it. We gotta throw it up here and then we just gotta start bouncing. I just don't think this will last long enough. Well, I think it will if I go quicker, but yeah. I just that I meant that specific one I had in my hand. I don't think that one was gonna last. So let's run over here, throw it up, jump. Gotta start bouncing immediately. Go. Bounce, 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 and then throw it. And the last crystal. How do we get what? How do we get the thing on here? Oh no, there's one more crystal left. I thought that was the last one. Um, hey, my back feels better. I don't know how we get a thing in there then. We must have. Oh, you know what? We probably take that one and carry it up with us you know, while we're bouncing. And then we just. We should be able to just throw it right over, I think. But yeah, let's see. Wait, how are we going to bounce it? Oh, I think we got to go grab that second one. I know there's two. There are two tiki's. So we got to go get the second one and bring that up. So let's go back and get it. You see, this area is a lot more puzzly, but I don't know. Jungle levels are always really puzzly. It's just kind of like a stereotype, I guess. It's just kind of a thing they like to do with puzzle areas. Make them very... Well, not puzzle areas. I meant with jungle areas, like forests. They like to make them ha have a lot of puzzles. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's pretty fun, <laughs> but... It's just like, after going through, like, Sand Mountain, which is so quick and straightforward and just sliding and fun, then we have all these puzzles, and, like, it makes you think <laughs> a lot more. But, I mean, the puzzles aren't, like, incredibly hard or anything. It's just... You know, it's just a, a big change of pace, I should say. Because, like, this level definitely goes a lot slower than Sand Mountain did. And I just broke the thing. And I'm dead! Alright. Oh, jeez. Everything attacking me at once. Down here. Got the body. I'm gonna have to go for it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It takes Patrick to be hits to kill that guy. Jeez. That's a lot of hits to kill. <laughs> yeah, that enemy that's in here is gonna respawn. He's gonna be annoying. The lightning guy up there. Let's don't worry about him now. There you go. Another one over here. Body, body bag. Let's go kill that guy up there real quick. Let's head over here and just bounce up there. There we go. Cool. Now let's go grab that other thing and come back up. Grab this tiki. Throw this, jump up, and grab it, and let's start bouncing now, and hopefully not fall this time. I did last time. I, again? How? I, I, I'm just going to cut back to when we're at the top. Oh my god, how did I do that twice? Come on now. Okay, we finally made it to the top, but I still don't know what I'm supposed to do to get this over there. Oh, we throw it like that, and then we go back down and get a watermelon. Okay, now I understand. Okay, I don't know how I made it up there so easily. Like, I made it up here first try with the watermelon, but with the tiki, I was struggling. Like, I don't understand, but we're, this is basically the end of it now, so let's just try to be slow and steady. So, it's really this that kept killing me right here. One, two, let's bounce here. There we go, okay. 
Now, see, like, look at that. I got it first try with the watermelon again, but Kiki was giving me trouble. Anyways, let's throw it on here. Gotta lift up that. So, okay, so we needed this to get the last crystal. Cool. So that's in the next area, I believe. So now we're gonna go switch to SpongeBob. Yeah, we still haven't hit this button, and I don't know what that does, so need to figure that out. So let's go. Oh, we can switch over here, right? Let's go switch to SpongeBob, and I think I know where I need to stand to hit that button, but. Yeah, just geez. That took me way longer than it should have, though. That stupid little tiki thing took me forever, and it should not have taken me that long, but it did. Anyways, let's go in here. In the box. Then the head up. And then, so this one we already did, standing there, but there was an area. If we go back to this beginning part. What oh, noise? The plants growing? Just making the noise. I think when we stand here. I think we throw this through here. Did that open the cage or no? I can't tell. That noise is really annoying. I don't know why it's making it. Jeez, that's really, really annoying. I don't know what it's doing, but hopefully it'll go away. Did that open the cage? That didn't open the cage. So we must need to go to the next area then. Okay. I was just making sure. So, yeah. Gee, what is that noise? I don't know what noise that is, but it's annoying. It's so loud. I'm sorry for the video. That is really annoying. Okay, it's going away. It's getting quiet. Okay. So I think in here is where we stand on the next button. Go away. Or to go away. The oh, the thing. What was the last camp? Let's go. Hit him. There you go. Yeah, he was just chilling in here. Okay, so this is where we get the last crystal at. We gotta open that door. Still. Oh, we stand here to open that. Huh. Yeah, we throw it through there. Hit that button. Yep. That'll open the last door, and we can get the last crystal. And then there's a tiki thing over here. I just don't know what that's for, though. We'll check it out. I, wait, is it even for anything? I don't know. I have no idea. I, maybe that was the tiki I was supposed to use for the Patrick thing. That might be the one I was intended to use when I instead of going back to get that other one. That's what Coming I did. At Right, like I went back to get the other one instead of using this one, so probably Ugh. We miss it. We're gonna get it. Don't worry, we got this. I, I stop hitting walls. We got this. All right, brown. Oh, really? That kills me. Come on. Why does that have collision? That shouldn't have collision. All right, go. Oh, that would have been it if I went a little bit higher. And fly down. Fly up, hit the button. Let's go. All right, I lock that, and we're gonna go ahead and grab our last crystal too. And we are all good now. We can, I guess, that leads to the next area. So what? Yeah, I think that this was supposed to be the thing I used to get up, but I didn't. Oh, there's a golden spatula here. Let's go. Our first golden spatula. It's been so. It's been how many minutes, and we just got a golden spatula? So where's this lead? Kelp vines. Before we go there, though, I kind of want to head back to. Talk to Barnacle Boy. So, yeah. Wait, can't we? Can we do this? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. We can just fast travel. To. Yeah, we can just fast travel to Barnacle Boy. Let's do. That. Fast travel to him, and then give him the thing, and then we'll go back. Barnacle Boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right. Stand back! <laughs> oh boy! <sighs> there! What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible! Uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. Hey, he's trying to get rid of me, bro. Like, it's, a, it's so rude. Like, what did I do? But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and head to the next area. Now. Luckily, we have this box to get us back up here quick. But, um, yeah, I don't know, Barnacle Boy being kind of sus. He's trying to get rid of me so quick. 
And he, he really needed all those crystals just to trim his nose hairs fast. But like, like I said, it's going to be something. But, I mean, I, that is just the nature of SpongeBob. But, uh, yeah, so now... Also, I just realized that since I fast traveled, everything in here reset. I didn't even, like, intend for that. But we got all the crystals and we found all the campers. Let's head to the kelp mines. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it! What a hoot! And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. All right, so we got a time challenge. So it's another slide. I like the slides. So before we accept it, though, I want to like mount and stuff first. There's a bus stop. I can switch to Patrick. If I really need to. I don't know if I need to, but yeah, look, there's not much here to look at. So let's just. Oh, yeah. Let's do the time challenge now. Go ahead. Head down the slide. I do. See, this is another Kingdom Hearts like thing. Just a, a huge slide in the full. Ah! Still haven't beaten my- But you're the greatest superhero that ever lived. How could I, a simple sponge, topple your record? Keep trying, youngster! Keep trying! Alright, back to the time time. But like I was saying, this is also very similar to Kingdom Hearts 2 with the huge slide in the forest area. That also happened in that game. Actually, wait. Wasn't that- No, that was Kingdom Hearts 1, wasn't it? Yeah. Bad the Tarzan one. I dead again. Alright. Back on the slide one more time. Hopefully I don't die. But, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 had the Tarzan area. And it was very similar to this. Just, yeah, it had a huge slide. It's, it's, it's kind of like a cool, a little parallel. Like that. I don't know if that's why they put the slide here, but I kind of doubt it. But if so, that'd be kind of cool. I think it's just kind of like a fitting thing. You slide down a vine. You know? Just kind of a trope, I guess you could say. <laughs> but... Combo that. That. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa, I overshot it. God. Oh, fuck. Okay, we made it. Here we go. So now we can head back to Mermaid Man for the reward. And so where does this lead? Back to the Kelp Forest. Yep, so that's a full loop. So let's go talk to Mermaid Man. Well, no! That's some time you've gotten! I guess you could say I had that course licked. <laughs> I guess I owe you a reward. Take this 
golden spatula. Thanks, mermaid man. All right, yep, so that's two more. I think that's the last golden spatula of this area. Let me double check. Well, except for the one I have to turn into Mrs. Puff, obviously. Which is, yeah, find all the campers. I'm going to go down the slide one more time, though, to look for socks. But So if we find any, then I'll see you at the socks. If not, then I'll meet you back at Mrs. Puff. Bob, there you are! Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned! No problem, Mrs. Puff! Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help! And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest! You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again! Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff! I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff, I'll cherish it always. I don't know, how, do you, how are you going to know the difference between this one and the other 61 that you have? What? Anyways, though, that was the last golden spatula. I didn't find any other socks, but I have a feeling one is on that slide. I just couldn't find it. But... For now, we're just going to go ahead and leave, because that's everything in this area, and we're going to end off the episode right after that, so I will meet y'all back in Kitty Pop. Let's go. But anyways, guys, that was it for this episode. We finished up the kelp forest. So next, all we have is Flying Dutchman's, whatever it's called, the graveyard or something like that. And then SpongeBob's Dream. And then after that, we're going to actually go ahead and probably grind out shiny objects because we need 40,000. And then we're also probably going to go get the rest of the socks after that. So yeah, and then we'll be in the chum bucket. So yeah, that's it for this episode, though. We finished up the kelp forest, so... Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you slap that like button and that subscribe button if you want to be updated and stay up to date with everything I upload. And if you like this video that much, make sure you share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your co-workers, whoever you want to share it with. If you really, really like this video that much, you might consider going down and putting it into your favorites playlist. But yeah, that's it from me today, though. So until next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good night, y'all, or day. <laughs>